Good evening, you're watching 8 News at 11. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. Police identified 19-year-old Marcus Johnson as the missing teen found dead a few days ago. 8 News reporter Devon Reynolds sat down with the aunt who raised him most of his life today. He's live in the Digital Center with the details. Devon, how is she doing? Well, Deanna, she's heartbroken. She had been calling and texting her nephew looking to get some sort of response, even doing so just days ago on his birthday, but he hadn't responded for two months and she tells me she started to prepare herself for the worst. His father called me and told me that they said that the body they found was Marcus. What was your initial reaction? We were on the phone and I just broke down in the store crying, you know, it was just really um, overwhelming. Phyllis Hudson sharing those devastating moments when she learned her nephew 19 year old Marcus Johnson was found dead in Colonial Heights. I kind of prepared myself, you know, because I knew he had been gone for over maybe six weeks. I texted him and he wouldn't text back. Hudson, who raised Johnson from nine to 18 years old, had no idea her text with him two months ago would be her last. And on November the 9th, around 12.55, he said, he said, I'm good, how are you? After that was the 19th. Mm -hmm. I said, hey Marcus, how are you doing? Give me a call when you get a chance. Mm -hmm. No response after that. Colonial Heights police say a citizen discovered Johnson's body in Colonial Heights on Yacht Basin Drive a month ago. But it was just a few days ago that they identified Johnson. I've known Marcus all my life, all his life rather, from the time he was a little baby, you know. Marcus was real quiet. He, um, he wasn't um, a loud person. He was real quiet and real humble. Johnson hadn't been to his home in Chesterfield since November 16th. The family filed a police report on November 27th. And on December 21st, Tommy Douglas made the horrific discovery. I wish I had came over sooner because I had seen it probably a couple weeks early. Police say Johnson may have been killed somewhere else then taken to this wooded area on Yacht Basin Drive. Who would have did this? Oh, what happened? Hudson now wonders if things might have turned out differently if he still lived with her. After he finished high school, he told me he wanted to go stay with his dad because um, my husband had died in October 2020. I just feel like he left too soon. Now, police are working to discover the timeline of where Johnson was before he was killed. For now, live in the Digital Center, DeMond Reynolds, 8 News.